Let's take a look at the boiling point for methane, that's CH4, and then carbon tetrachloride, CCL4. So we want to compare the boiling points for these two molecules. They're very similar molecules in terms of the arrangement of the atoms around that central carbon. Both have a tetrahedral molecular geometry. And what that means is that the atoms, they're all pointed away from that carbon, that central carbon, in equal and opposite directions. And even though there is a dipole for the individual bonds, it all cancels out. So these are nonpolar molecules. So we won't have any dipole interactions. The only interactions between these molecules will be London dispersion forces. But the London dispersion forces, those temporary dipoles, are going to be much larger for this carbon tetrachloride. That's because chlorine is a lot bigger than hydrogen, has a lot more electrons and energy levels than the hydrogen does here. So this is a larger molecule with more electrons and more opportunities for those instantaneous dipoles to set up and make the molecules of CCL4 attracted to each other. Because they're attracted to each other, it's more difficult to separate them. We have to put more energy in to separate them and make them boil, change into a gas. But for methane, the London dispersion forces, they're pretty weak. So it boils at negative 161.6 Celsius. That's very cold. In contrast, carbon tetrachloride has a boiling point of 76.7 degrees Celsius, relatively warm. So again, the big difference, we only have London dispersion forces, but because this chlorine is a much bigger molecule, it forms stronger London dispersion forces. And therefore, it has a higher boiling point. This is Dr. B with the boiling point for methane and carbon tetrachloride. Thanks for watching.